I'm visiting one of the most popular destinations of Hungary, Lake Balaton. For six weeks, I'm cooking from local ingredients. With these courses, I'm showing you the real character of this region. I'm visiting the northern and the southern area as well. Let me start with a classic, the famous Hungarian lecho. Welcome to Table, Balaton Edition. Hi guys, let me welcome you today in the Kali Basin, where the guardians of the basin are watching me while I will make the classical Hungarian vegetable stew, the lecho. For this lecho, we will need peppers. If we have the chance, we should buy different types of peppers. Also, we should do the same with tomatoes because each type has different taste and different texture. We need onions, lard, quail eggs, and sourdough bread. First of all, we will need the smoked lard. This not only gives the fat for the onions to fry in, but also gives an amazing flavor to the dish. Let's cut small blocks of it, and you can start to sweat it in the pot. As you can see, I'm working with three different types of peppers. This is not only good flavor-wise, but also it enhances the visual outcome of our dish. After our onion is golden brown and roasted in this smoked lard fat, it's time to add the peppers. We add the paprika first because its texture is more dense, so it takes a little bit more time to cook. We don't want it to cook all the way because we want to feel it under our teeth when we bite into it. While our beautiful, colorful and flavorful paprikas are sweating in the pot, let's start with the tomatoes. As I said before, I'm using three different types of tomatoes. The first is the zebra one. I'm cutting it into four pieces because it's a little bit bigger than the others. Then comes the red one. I'm only cutting it in half. And then comes the golden one. The Italian word pomodoro means golden apple. Or as the French name suggests, pomme d'amour, what they believe to be an aphrodisiac. Paprika is in, tomatoes are in. We gave it a light sprinkle of salt. And now let's prepare our platter, the sourdough bread. We cut thick slices of the bread, but we will rub with this smoked lard. So that's how we will get an evenly toasted surface on both sides. It's always key to taste the food. When the lecho is almost ready, it's time to toast the bread. Toast or the platter is ready, and the lecho is ready as well. The only thing that's left is to plate the dish. I'm plating this dish quite rustically without any fork or knife, because basically this is a sandwich. So let's eat it with hands. So while our lecho is still warm, let's finish it with the cherry on top, the quail egg. You can poke a little nest in the center so it holds the quail egg in place. And as you've seen, I bought some sprouts at the market. So let's put it on top to give it some freshness and some color. And here we have our lecho. Please enjoy.